hello traders sit here with another trade recap so today is thursday and it's uh, thanksgiving day and i'm doing this trade recap video of for the trades that i took yesterday so let's start with trade recap video so the first trade yesterday that i took was on neo uh i was expecting the same move on neo as i saw it on tuesday my expectations was not that um, far off from the price action that i observed on tuesday but as tuesday similar to tuesday like uh, my fill my entry point was not my, my uh, entry point was not perfect i didn't give enough time for its price action to reach to the target price that i was expecting i bought stocks 50 stocks of neo and ended up losing around 23 dollars over there and uh, then i bought uh, put spread expiring on this week and that was not good like uh, uh, neo was showing some bullishness so let's take a look at uh, neo's price action and this was the this was its overall price action i believe i bought a uh, put spread right around right around here and then it started moving up so i didn't uh, wait for it to come back and i just cut my losses so that was that overall lost 40 dollars over here the next trade after that i took was on nvidia it has a similar story i didn't wait for its price action to reach to my target price and uh, basically what i did is i bought it when it reached to this 323 level yeah here somewhere around here and then it pulled back and then um moved to 325 uh, but i didn't wait for this complete move and i sold it quickly as soon as i got an opportunity to get out from the trade so ended up just making like uh like 70 cents or 75 cents after nvidia the next trade that i took was on bttx and bttx was caught on the momentum scanner of trade idea as it was squeezing up higher but um i didn't take a trade on this bullish candle because of this week and i was expecting it to drop down so when it pulled back uh i got a filled in at 947 and then i sold uh, 50 shares at 970 so ended up making 11 dollars and 5 cents over there now after that i take Took a trade on AERC. So AERC was um, IPO'd on Wednesday, and uh, its price action was so bizarre. Like um, somebody, when I checked it on my Weibo, somebody posted a screenshot that he was uh, holding shares worth around like 1.3 millions, and he dropped a message like i'm going to liquidate all my positions at hundred dollar and like it reached to that point uh on a reach to that point at 100 somewhere around here like 101 dollar and 74 cents after um when it resumed from its halt and then it uh, slumped back down towards 71 and uh, during this trade i took a i guess i took one trade over here yes on 9522 and sold it at 9605 the 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 bizarre part about that is this whole price action was uh, happened with extremely low volume and the evidence of that you can see at the end like uh, towards the market end like there was almost like no volume to push the price action and the spread between ask and bid was too 
um uh, too wide so after this initial trade i didn't take trade on it even though uh, it was the uh, the spread between ask and bid was so tempting to uh but i just avoid it and kept my profits because i didn't want to get into the fomo and then lose a large amount of money on a stock that basically has no history no um you know a threshold or points pure points to observe and uh, after that my last trade was lgvn i don't know what's going on with this stock seems like it's a short squeeze but if that's a short squeeze then buyers are buying buyers are pushing the stock um higher during market hours and then after during the after market and pre market hours it's kind of kind of like selling off all the time so this is the chart of lgvn on back to back days because um i took trade on monday as well um i didn't take a trade on lgvn on tuesday and as you can see here tuesday was completely um uh, constant sell off or buyers were uh, sorry sellers were in control and on friday like um initial after initial bull run it started selling off and you can clearly see the head and shoulder pattern over here so it sold off and uh, from this point when it reached to its uh, when it's kind of like a sold off on rsi indicator it reverses back and then um, went into the halt multiple times before making um, high of that day around like 40 to 87 and as as aerc this price action was there was no volume to justify this type of price action volume was very low and that's why you can see all this wicks around uh, the top candles so i took uh, my initial trade was with 50 shares and i made a good amount of money over there and uh, some somewhat around like 11 or 12 dollars and then uh with this 100 shares i made 100 dollars and after that i was just taking a stab at it like as taking um getting as much money um as possible from trading 10 10 shares but uh i ended up making like 141 dollars on it the other thing that i uh want to mention over here is i traded lgvn with trigger with brackets and uh, that's what helped me to gain quick profits because when i took a trade when i took this 100 shares trade i basically used that trigger with bracket so what bracket does is like uh, it uh, it allows you to set a limit order or the market order and once it get filled then it has two uh, levels like upper level and the lower level it's kind of acts like a um limits to sell the order and i really like that feature i never been uh, i never used that before uh, in trading but that's definitely the way i want to go um going into my next trade because at this point i just want to control my losses instead of focusing on profits and so far i was doing it manually but um i this tool was there i knew about it but i never used it i used it and i got i saw the benefits of it till i get my confidence back um i will definitely going to use it when i'm going to deal with volatile stocks with larger share size tomorrow we will have a uh, market hours will be from 9:30 to 1 pm and volume will be extremely low so if you want to take trades just be cautious be careful don't go overboard with share size or if you are trading options with option size because that's going to be very very risky and you don't want to go into the holidays uh, with 
red day so if you want to stay away from the stock market that would be better tomorrow i'm basically not going to trade at all if something is worth trading then i will uh focus on the price action chart patterns and everything and basically volume if i see long wicks of the candle all the way throughout the chart then i'm not going to take trade uh, on that stock at all probably i will take a day off tomorrow i'm not sure but i will uh, definitely be watching all the stock market how it's reacting what's happening and based on that i will decide to take a trade or not but that's it for this video guys again happy thanksgiving and enjoy your holidays stay safe thanks for watching and bye